Hello everyone, Amit Tagore from Eco Visioner. Continuing with my most expected topic series today, I have the last unit of macro foreign exchange and balance of payment. I hope you have watched the previous videos on macroeconomics. If you have not watched, they are already saved in our playlist. Go and uh, watch those videos. And I assure you, students, if you cover these topics, you will surely excel in your economics board exam. Starting with my first topic expected are the foreign exchange rate systems. Fixed exchange rate systems, system and flexible exchange rate system. Their merits and demerits are added this year to the syllabus, so there are chances that they give you merits and demerits also. The most important system, of course, this time is managed floating, as you have seen that India has managed its currency by selling uh, foreign exchange in the market. So managed floating becomes more important this time. Second is impact of depreciation and depreciation on of currency on your exports, foreign direct investments, your inflows and outflows. And students, if your currency is depreciated, then surely your inflows will increase. You become an important attractive destination to invest and import. So coming to appreciation, if your currency is appreciated, then foreign countries become more attractive. Outflow of foreign exchange takes place. So you have to cover this topic thoroughly uh, when you prepare for your exam. Coming to the third topic is treatment of various items in BOP account. Uh, will it be treated as a current account item or a capital account item or which side will it be? For example, borrowing. So borrowing is a capital account item and it will be recorded on the credit side or a positive side uh, of the account. Coming to the fourth topic which you have to prepare is difference between current and capital and also the components. So you have to just learn or understand the components of current account and how they are different with the components of capital account. So capital account like we have uh, uh, borrowings and lendings and then we have uh, investments, FPI, F FDI and also your uh, foreign exchange reserve transactions. So all those transactions are the part of capital account and uh, anything which does not uh, relate to asset or liability status change is a part of current account. Coming to the last topic which we are expecting is the difference between autonomous and accommodating items. It is very easy. All the items which are done uh, for the motive of uh, earning profit or you can say economic motive are autonomous items. They are not dependent on any other items. Whereas when the account is done, when the autonomous items are done and there is a deficit or surplus, the items which help in balancing the account are accommodating items. And these accommodating items depend on autonomous items. If, if if inflows of autonomous items is more, if inflow in the autonomous items is more than outflow, so we have a surplus. And if uh, opposite happens, it, we have a deficit. So we borrow to fill this deficit. So borrowing is a very important accommodating item. So if you cover these five topics, students, surely you will cover almost all the questions which are coming. So if you want to attempt some tests, free tests, so you get, you want to have some free study material, Please download our EcoVisioner app and if you have any personal doubt or query, uh, you can just leave a WhatsApp message on my number that is 9891203546. All the best for your exams.